Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're hitting the ground running. One thing you guys never ever get to see is that I spray myself with perfume every time we go out. No, I'm just joking. And, and then I pack my fidgets. <laughs> um, Sophia's packing her fidgets. Did you brush your hair? Go brush your hair, quick. So basically, uh, if you uh, did not watch yesterday's video, then you might not know that Chino blew a shoe and we are just a few days out from a horse show. So, first horse show of the season. So, we have to go. Our farrier agreed to come and do fix the shoe right now, like the very next morning. Awesome farrier. Uh, so we're gonna go and do that right now. But what you guys don't see often is Gabby fixing the blinds. <laughs> Why are you fixing the blinds? They're annoying me. <laughs> they annoy me too. What you might not see or understand or know is that literally I was getting ready, I was behind, and Gabby and Sophie, mostly Gabby, ran down to the barn, got the horses out, got the horses fed, took care of like all that stuff so that we could go. I didn't ask them, I didn't talk about it with them, they just did it because they know. Gabby's a lot like her dad like that. All right, come on, we gotta go. How about we just buy a new blind? Wouldn't that be better? It is a gorgeous morning here on the Day by Day Farm. It is sunny and bright. It's gonna be like summer today. I'll be back, Penny Pickle. I promise you. She'd be looking at me. Oh, she just stopped. It's 8 a.m. and it's already eight degrees. 8 a.m. and eight degrees. That is a recipe for an amazing day. We are in the show crunch now. We have a lot to do. What do we have to do, Gabby? Do you know? Bathe their horses? Uh, we're not braiding, so I don't know. We are braiding. We're not. We are. I said bathe. Bathe, braid, yeah. Finn we're needs not. A anyway, we're leaving early so that we can go and get uh, coffee and a bagel and whatever because we don't have time for breakfast. Oh, we stopped. We got coffee. What's inside my backpack? I don't drink coffee though. Yeah, what's we got coffee. What's inside your backpack? Fidget toys. Fidget toys at the barn. Because you know there's never enough things to do at the bar. All right, we are the first ones here. Oh, it is gorgeous outside. Like, it's almost summer. Gabby saw a storm lying down, which is really cool. I'd love to be able to see that. There's Hopefully we see it. It actually rained all night, like thunder and lightning, to the point where I was worried about Penny in the stall. How was Penny this morning, Gabby? She was fine. How was her stall? Clean. Clean. <laughs> Didn't scare the poop out of her then. And all I kept thinking last night when it was pouring rain and thunderstorming storming, was all of our horses were tucked in bed, quiet and happy and dry. And I was so glad. Oh. Stormy, come and pee. All right, this is what morning on the farm looks like. Stormy's a morning napper. What do you think of that? He's, yeah, he's waiting to see who, who are we gonna catch. <laughs> like, honestly. Oh. Yeah, all the horses are learning. I'm the, I'm the treat girl. Now, how am I gonna get him up? You just pull. Oh, look at his feet. You put it on him. <laughs> you get him up, and I'll walk him. Cause this is not my idea of fun. Hi, handsome. I mean, this. I'm like this. Never been this close. Well, I guess I have. I have. Normally, I'm nervous. Wait till I get out of the way of everything. A, a horse. A horse is everywhere. Come on. I know, we don't want to have to make you either. It's just a, just a farrier day. Just a feet day. Just a feet day. Uh-oh, no, no choices. Sorry about that. Sorry, I promise it'll be an easy day. It'll be easy. And then the horse that never runs away, knock on wood. Never runs. Storm and I are leaving because all the horses were getting curious and excited and wanted to be a part of it. Never walk backwards through the mud in a horse paddock. Don't do it. I know, we all woke up for this, Stormy boy. We all had to get up early for this. Trust me, it wasn't our idea. It's Chino's fault. What? It was, he blew his shoe. Otherwise, we'd be waiting till next week. All right, he's gonna be the first one to run. Chino That's Finn. Probably and they run to us. Like that's what I don't like. You know, we'll and I, ah, right. Storm's the one saying run. run. Just so you all know, I'm the boss. He says, "Hi, tiny human." Do you think she look at? I know it's a big change. Like Gabby rides Storm, like she knows him, and her and Chino are getting there. 
But before we start today's vlog off, really, we need to say a very merry, happy gotcha day to Finn. Yesterday was a year ago that we got Finn, and yeah, that's what he thinks about that. It was because two years ago, sorry. We had two yeah, years we've had he, the only reason he ran away is because. He's looking at the pom pom on your backpack. Wait, let him see it. it. The only reason he ran away was because Stormy told him to. Chino's like Penny. He's very curious. I feel like Penny and Chino would get along great. <laughs> Look at it. They met before in this very arena. Yeah, it didn't go he, well. He's too friendly. He's just like, hi. He is. He's like a puppy yeah, dog. He's never ever squealed at all. I don't know. I feel like he did. Oh no, but I feel like he My squealed. My horse does not. He doesn't squeal? It was Penny that squealed them. Yeah. He squealed out horses over the fence, I felt like. Those were the other horses. Oh. He only he only made a sound when they actually bit him. Oh. They bit him in the face. He's a, was like, oh he's my a God. calm, cool, collected boy. Happy gotcha day, Finny boy. Because it's better than mud. So Gabby says that what she does, she gets them all sandy and then she just brushes the sand off because the sand is a lot better than mud. Uh oh. Stormy might have to pee. He's still after your backpack. He's still after that. That's so funny. That's the new confirmation photo we need. Okay. Watch it. Okay, so if you move out of the way, quick run. He's all muddy though. We have to Photoshop that. Photoshop the mud out. There we go, that's the new Chino. Oh. So we did Chino's passport last year for Trillium and then Trillium got canceled. So we had to, so we still have the passport so we don't have to do it again. But we were looking at his passport picture and it doesn't look anything like he, how he looks yeah. now. And Gabby wants to shave him bald. She wants to shave all the hair off and you know what? My car, our chiropractor told us that when you shave them all down like that, the chance for infection in horses is so high. Know, unless we bring them home. Especially in spring when they could get mud fever. Unless we bring them home, which our place has barely any mud, so they wouldn't be in mud up to... This place will dry out though. This will dry. Like, it's just mud season. And it rained. Yeah. And it rained all night. I didn't hear any rain this week. Oh, it was bad. I was too busy worrying about my dog kicking up my whole bed and all my blankets. Hi, oh, Finny. No, I, I I saw the first thing lightning. So we don't know when Finn's birthday is, so I feel like we should change his birthday to March 24th. It's a backpack. This horse is seriously making himself ours. That's mine. That's mine. What's yours is mine, he says. That's my purse. That's my purse. Hey, Mom. Getting him all ready. Getting the mud off of him so that he's good for the barrier. Um, so, he hooked up that back foot and he stretched it all the way out. Did he? Because he's getting used to it. He thinks that that's what you're doing. He loves his exercises. So, Chino actually pulled a whole piece of his hoof off right there with the shoe. And our farrier actually built him a whole new, new shoe. Like, isn't that incredible? Such a good job. Uh, let's pray, you guys. Chino, you only have a couple of days to make it. Couple of days. Stormy, you too. Keep those shoes on. Can hear the clip clop of his of his feet, the <laughs> freshly done feet. All right, big guy, we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. Go and enjoy this beautiful, gorgeous spring day. Apparently, it's gonna get cold again. Like single digits by the weekend. Get off of me. Get off of me. Ah, look, they're all looking at us. They don't understand. Chino walked away and then he came back. Storm's over there eating. He's thinking, he's like, what are we doing, mama? You want to ride? I was telling our farrier that somebody told us, a couple of you guys had commented, and said that you're not supposed to ride your horse after they have the farrier come, that they're supposed to rest for that day. And so I was asking him, like, oh, you know, I heard somebody was mentioning to me that you're not supposed to ride on farrier day, and we always have. And he said, can't even tell you what he said. <laughs> but he said, basically, if you have a farrier and your horses are getting their feet done and you can't ride your horse the day the farrier comes, that you need to get a new farrier. Which is kind of what I was wondering about the people because farrier, 
our horses just feel better after they have the farrier. They don't feel like sore. And what he was telling me was that lots of times, because he works for some big show barns, he's like a big farrier in the area. And he was telling me that like, lots of times he shoes a horse and then they go out to race. So if you are one of those people out there that your farrier tells you that you shouldn't ride after you do the have the farrier there, that they could be foot sore, then that's a problem unless your farrier is trimming too short or too much, which is still a problem. That's what happened with us, with our girls recently. We have a new farrier, she's getting used to our girls and she took too much off. But normally they've never had a problem before. So anyway, let's go home because one, I'm starving. Oh, look what I found in my purse. I don't even know where it came from. Like I've gone through this purse a purse hundred times and never found treats. Even when I'm looking for treats, I got a free treat out of this. It's like God saying, good job, Laura. You did a good job today with the horses. So this is Trixie's body. I haven't showed her in the vlog for a while. This is her shed. She shed her body. Cage is a bit of a mess. We had to leave so early this morning. Somebody is so glad we're home. Yes, I know, we're home. We're home, it's okay. It's okay, we're home. She's such a loving girl. She just has to say hello to everyone. Bearded dragons when they're babies will shed once or twice a month. And then as an adult, she's like, what are you saying? And then as an adult, they will shed like once or twice a year. So she just finished a shed and she's confused about the camera in her, in her home. Whoa. <laughs> Sophie likes to hand feed her a couple of crickets and then she takes everything out and lets her do a big hunt. Late and we have not done chores. Yes, we have to do chores. We have to do chores first. I was minding my own business, cleaning up the poop in the arena and was walking back and went to see what I discovered. Do you see what it is? Someone has scissors. Somebody has scissors. <laughs> Who could it be? <laughs> just cut her tail. You just cut her tail? And Gracie's, but. And Gracie's? Really right. Look at the scare. Look at the jump I set up. I need to. Can you hold her while I grab flowers? Yeah. So we spent so much time doing our Liberty Court that we hardly did like, any real jumping or playing with our horses this year. Oh, it only looks too short from up there. But when you back up, it's actually long. When you back up, it's uh, it's actually longer. What do you guys think? Gabby do a good job on the tail. Oh, that's a lot off. Oh. Um, this is her fetlock. Just not like that. You can listen. You can listen, pony. That's her fetlock. Fetlock bone. Like kind of like a little tiny bit shorter than her fetlock bone. Right. I got her in trouble and said, you stay inside the arena, don't run out. And she said, oh my gosh, I've never been in trouble before. And she ran and jumped on top of Sophie. Oh my gosh. I don't want to meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number.
packages. This one's for you, Gab. All right, so I bought this for you from an amazing company. It's for your horse. Oh, it's his birthday cake. So some of you guys might remember that we got um, some treats recently from a company called Maine Delights, M-A-N-E Delights. And I noticed on their site the other day that they had these beautiful little birthday cakes for horses. It's so beautiful. It smells so good. And that's just for Storm. You guys know Storm's really picky, but he actually really loved the main delete the main delights treats. And I can't wait for him to have a birthday cake. Like that's just for him. We're gonna video him opening it. Eating it. Isn't it nice? Doesn't it make you want to eat it? Like it smells good. Yeah, I smell the molasses. Yeah, it's so yummy. So anyway, we'll put that away. That is for Storm. It's almost his birthday. Thanks. So this package came with Kunkel gloves and Kunkel hat. So it's so nice. I hope I'm not butchering the name. K-U-N-K-L-E. And it's these gorgeous show gloves. Super cute, cute hats. I love you guys in hats. They're nice. I love them. And they sent some for me and they sent some for the girls, which is so kind. So these are premium show gloves, and they're made out of this really marvelous material. They even sent me a pair. These are my first riding gloves ever. So the, a mouse went in our tack trunk and ate Only some... Only the ones that were broken. Oh. I broke both of them. Oh. They're already broken. She's so Gabby needed, basically Gabby needed new riding gloves, and I told her I'd buy her some. Wow. They look like they fit like a glove. Do you like them? Yeah. I know, I love them. They're so nice. Size eight. Glo Gabby's glove size is a size eight. I, I like them. They look like your hand practically. Basically, um, this company spent three years trying to develop the best show glove on the market. So that's good. Also, they have touchscreen capabil capabilities. So also, it dries complete. they dry completely between each ride. You can wash them in your washing machine and they're half the cost of the leading glove in the USA. So these are textured pebble finish, and I love them, you guys. Like, they look really high quality. Um, if you are interested in getting yourself a pair of Kunkel gloves, then I will post a link in the description box, and you can follow them to their Instagram page. Um, they also have decided that they want to give one of you guys a pair of free gloves, a pair of free, amazing riding gloves. If you are interested in entering the contest for the Kunkel gloves, You'll find a post on Instagram that will tell you what to do to win it. It's super easy. You just need to tag two friends and follow Kunkel's Instagram. That's it. And you can be entered into the draw. It's super exciting. I literally love when we work with brands that are small companies that are just starting out because they are always the nicest people. The people that sent us these gloves, they wrote me this beautiful card and literally it was the nicest card ever. I read it out loud to Sam. That's how, that's how kind it was. They're such kind people. Thanks, Kunkel. Thank you so much for our amazing gloves and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Don't you know that